Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In the last session, we made it through pretty much the whole intro. We uh, went to Freedom's Progress, uh, a settler a settler site, a, a outpost that had recently had all of the humans there abducted. We met up with Tali, who was investigating the place for similar reasons, uh, because also there was a quarry in there they were looking for. And uh, we got given our own new ship, the Normandy 2, Mark 2, whatever whatever you want to call it. And uh, the game has really opened up, it looks like. We've got a whole bunch of possible things. This is the overarching thing, stop the collectors. But then there's all these dossiers, there's going to see the council. How many things are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven possible points to start. That's crazy. And then there's also these other side things. Uh, just buying stuff and a couple of smaller mission type things. Uh, but yeah, there's like, there's so much choice. So this must be really, really interesting to watch Let's Plays of because like you could start at any point and seemingly like do all of this in any order. So yeah, it's cool. It seems cool. I'm thinking we start off with going to see the council, right? Because we've just come back from the dead. I feel like they would think it was rude if... We just sort of went off and started doing our own thing and didn't say hi, <laughs> you know? Also, I mean, we've got a bone to pick with them because it seems like they have pretty much ignored everything we were saying. And also, also, it would kind of be a nice mirror of the opening of Mass Effect 1, where we had a big opening mission and then went to the Citadel to see the Council. And now here, big opening mission and now off to the Citadel to see the Council. So uh, that just feels, that feels neat to me. So... I think that is what we will do. I'm curious to see how the Citadel will have changed. Hello, this is a bit different. Oh, we're like actually flying around on a, on a little ship. That's cool. Fuel depot. What is this? Naught out of a thousand, seven, 170,000 cash, 10 out of 30 something. Buy fuel. Oh. How much does 50 fuel costs? 170k... Oh, it's only... It's not much. Hmm. I don't know what we need fuel for, because it seems like we can merrily trot around without using any? But I mean... Probably best to get max fuel, I would think? Oh, you can just hold it down. There we go. Okay, interesting. Uh, I was expecting it to be like the same kind of look. Oh. Oh. Okay, moving around here uses fuel. Okay, okay. Uh. So we can't, like, go out another level. Oh, we probably need to go to the mass relay in here then. Oh, this is the this is the relay they were talking about. Right, yeah, that makes sense. This is the relay they were talking about that we uh, nobody's been through except for the collectors. What does it say if you go in the orbit of it? The Omega-4 relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth through the relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega-4. Some say there's a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there's some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the Collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. There's an enter button. <laughs> it says A to enter. It's not going to let us, right? I'm curious, though. Until we have a solution in place, we cannot utilize the Omega-4 relay. Okay, fair enough. I was going to say, I feel like they're not going to let us do that. Uh, let's have a look at this place. We're definitely going to be going here. There's a whole bunch of things here. Uh, Archangel, the Professor, and the Veteran are all at this one joint. All right. Uh, built in the mined-out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. 
the space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There's no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall a time there ever was one. 7.8 million. Nice. Okay, well we're not going there yet. Uh, right, what have we got? We've got the mass relay, that is I assume how we get to the citadel. Uh, anything else? Just a couple of planets. Unexplored. Huh. Erdak. That's a, that's a name from Doom Eternal recently, right? Erdak? I feel like I recognize that word. Erdak is a close orbiting brown dwarf. The most, most red brown dwarf binary systems have an average separation. Okay, this is, this is like, uh, <laughs> this is stuff that we don't read <laughs> from Mass Effect 1. That part of it, at least. The second part is usually more interesting, which, yes, looks like it is again here. Uh, there are rumors that the heads of several of Omega's crime syndicates maintain that the heads of several of Omega's crime syndicates maintain private residences on various moons. Whatever the truth of the matter, battles between syndicate vessels are often observed around the ring plane. News outlets on Omega maintain satellites at Erdak's Lagrange points for real-time coverage of these battles which garner high viewer ratings. Nice. Yeah, it's often the case that the first section of on these planets is not particularly interesting, but the latter's are. Uh, start scanner? What is this? Scanner results moderate. What does that mean? Hold LT to scan for minerals. Oh! There's a lot there. Uh, launch probe? Ten probes. Away. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. I'll take it. <laughs> hmm. My controller's rumbling really hard up here. But it's not like... The white line isn't raising very far. I don't know if that's worth... If I've only got like 10 probes, I don't know where you buy more. Shaking pretty hard down here too. Hmm. Probe launched. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Launching probe. So I guess we, we're going to need all this stuff to do upgrades is what it's sounding like. Uh, so sure, let's just get a bit more. Launching That's quite a lot. I wonder if I should only be doing it because like some places it spikes really high. Like there it's spiking really high. Should I only launch a probe to the ones that have massive spikes? You can now afford the Collector Chitin Armor Research Project. Sure. Oh, scanner results is changed to poor. Does that mean I've depleted resources on this place, maybe? Interesting. Weird little mini game, I guess. Are there still gonna be like unexplored points in these asteroid belts? Should I be should I be making my little way around? The asteroid belts, or is that just a Mass Effect 1 thing? Nothing there right now. Okay, let's have a look at this joint then. Uh, Imorcan. Anything there? Layover stations where pirates in a hurry can find fuel, ammunition, intoxicants, gambling, and sexual companionship at any hour. Nice! <laughs> uh, moderate results. Controller's vibrating quite hard here, but the white line's like barely raising at all, so. Oh, hello. Probe away. It's very rare to find any element zero, apparently. Launching probe. We found a fair bit of the other three, but. 
Fuck all, element zero. Oh, that's... So oh, man. Sudden. Big controller spike there. Launching probe. I wonder where you buy more probes from. Probe launched. Because I am almost out. One probe remains. Pro. There we go. And now the scanner result's gone down to poor. So I guess five scans is all a planet can take kind of thing. Fair enough. <laughs> and then you use this to make stuff on your ship. Cool, cool. Right. Okay. That is that is everything in this system then. Or is it? It says Sara Barrack 80%. So is that just because I haven't looked at the mass relay yet? Oh, I can buy, buy probes here. How much does it cost? 169,000. Oh, it's only 100 for five? Oh, that's fine then. Stack up. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Right. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, so the Citadel's over here. That's a much quicker uh, jump thing. Cool. Here we are. The good old Citadel. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, but we know actually constructed by the Reapers and is secretly a mass relay. This colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards, and a light 0.3 on the ring. Well, let's dock that bad boy. Oh man, that's pretty. That is very pretty. The Citadel might be one of the coolest, like, space things that has been, <laughs> that has ever been come up with. I love the design of it so much, and the idea behind it. Get your lens flare out. Directed by J.J. Abrams. Biotic barriers are... Cool. <laughs> oh boy, who shall I pick? Alright, cycle appearance. Ugh. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that suit. Jesus. Is it just those two options? Yeah, we'll go with the normal one. What about you? Oh, you don't have a, an appearance to cycle. Okay. Well, just the two of you. Ah, oh, okay. I was wondering how you do this. Because uh, it didn't let me before, did it? Or maybe, it, actually, it probably would have if I had checked when we were in the mission. And I just didn't check, I think. Okay, so, pull. We already read that, and we already read ammo, because I have both of those available. Uh, Cerberus Operative gives him health and fat stacks of damage. Cool, cool. Uh, and he has barrier, but again, it's not purchasable, so I'm not sure how you go about doing that. But, uh, I mean, probably put it into pull? Because pull is fun? Heavy? Oh, we can't get this, but which would we get? keeps your target suspended for longer or suspends entire groups. It's probably going to be groups, right? That's going to be useful for when shit starts bunching up. We'll save those points for now then. And Miranda, what about you? You've got Overload. Okay, we haven't read this. Uh, overpower shields and synthetic enemies. Recharge time stays the same it looks like, but the damage goes up and you also get a stun on future levels and it ends with Greatly increases the damage, destabilizes synthetic enemies, causing them to explode when destroyed, or increases the radius, making it easier to hit multiple targets. Interesting. Uh, warp, is this the same as it was in Mass Effect 1? Damages enemy targets and stops health regen. I don't think it did that before. 
Detonates any biotic powers already affecting the target, such as pull or singularity. Huh. Detonates biotic powers. Is that kind of like, um... I hate to say this dirty word, but... Anthem? Is that kind of like the, uh... The power... Like, you do one power on them and then you do a second power that detonates the first one? That sounds, sounds very similar to that. Um... Causing further damage. Cool. That, uh, that, does, that does sound good. We could get Jacob to yeet people in the air and then we get her to warp them and detonate them. That sounds pretty pretty nifty. Uh, that is... Yep, yeah, that's what you'd expect. Slam. This is new. Lifts the target and slams them onto the ground. So they don't already have to be in the air. It does both lift and the slam. <laughs> inflicting massive damage. Oh, I've just realised. It says locked squad member is not loyal. Okay, so they unlock that when you befriend them, I guess. <laughs> okay, didn't notice that before, but that makes sense. Cool, cool. Um, right. Well, uh, both overload and warp sound very good, so... Eh, I quite like the idea of uh, the detonation aspect. So I think we're going to put those points there. Cool. Hello. Okay, this is different. Look at me looking all fly and shit. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Uh Was that from this? That was uh That was this one, Kasumi. Yeah. Input the password silence is golden at Kasumi's hacked ad terminal. Okay, I don't want to do that yet. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. <laughs> is this supposed to be subtle? Is nobody else noticing this? <laughs> uh oh my god. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. It's one of these fuckers. Hello. I love these guys so okay, much. Really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not here for you right now. We're, we'll get to you eventually. I want to uh, see the see the Shepherd, council first. You do have the password, right? <laughs> Just straight up calling me out by name. Interesting. Curious. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Empress class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3 percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, Serviceman Burnside, <laughs> what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. <laughs> this is a of destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Commander Shepard, That's amazing. the password and receive a free gift. This recruits is okay, a 20 just, kilo he just repeats. Slug. Feel the weight. Can I help you, sir? Security seems heavy. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk. I'm of so sorry issues. about your face. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert. Be safe. I. Thanks for your time. Next. Next. What was that? Galactic news? Where am I? Where am I seeing galactic news? Ah, right here. You're welcome. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether 
there are survivors. The council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. What? Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since even Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. Charles Saraceno, leader of the Terra Firma party and former Alliance Parliament candidate, has pled guilty to tax <laughs> That is incredible. That's the fucking dickhead we met right near the end of Mass Effect 1, right? When we were locked down at the uh, at the Citadel. What a bitch. Captain Hannah Shepherd has apparently turned oh, down my an mom. Admiral Star and will remain in command of the Orizaba. Turned the down an Admiral Star? To Admiral, a political ploy, and said that she could best honor her child's legacy by captaining a ship. Oh shit! We need to call our mum and let her know we're alive! Oh. And testimony by an apparent Cerberus scientist. A researcher known only as Dr. Wayne has been promised immunity and has suggested Cerberus may also be tied to the death of Admiral Kohoku several years ago. Two years ago, in fact. Oh my god! That I think that's the guy I was talking about, right? The one that uh, from last part or the part before? At some point. I'm pretty sure I mentioned him. Uh, the one that was uh, sent in to get fucked over by Thresher Moors and then experimented on for ages from the side quest in ME1. That is a, a direct reference to that. That's awesome. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. Oh, so nice. Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. That includes Caden, right? Wasn't he L2? The Turian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the Relay 314 incident at Shashi. The Turian government previously made reparations from what humans call the First Contact War, but refused to pay interest. The Turian hierarchy has supported improved relations with humanity since the Alliance's heroic sacrifice defending the Citadel from Saren's attack two years ago. Huh. That's interesting. So although the Council's being a bitch about it, the Turian, their own Turian internal governmental structure is... Like, they've warmed up to us, because they were kind of, like, iffy with us before, right? Especially the Turian council member, but... That's interesting. That's interesting. I feel like we made the right choice then, maybe? Even if the council themselves are being shit? A council inquiry has concluded that a combat BI that went rogue on Luna was not intentionally upgraded to full AI status. Alliance members have maintained that the BI was for combat testing purposes only. Given these findings, it is unlikely any charges will be filed. I think that was a side mission as well, right? Biomedical firm Serta Foundation is reporting a medical breakthrough against a new strain of interspecies influenza. The development comes as a result of samples contaminated during a biotic attack on their research center two years ago. Huh. Fortunately, there were few casualties. Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Former hostage Kate Bowman is expected to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. You're welcome. The Vitarian terrorist responsible for the attack on the colony, known only as Balak, remains at large. Oh boy, two years later he's still at large? I wonder if he'll pop up again. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding Shepherd location. Memorial Plaza! Oh. Orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for Alliance veterans. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown man. Resembles ancient Rachni ship profiles. Interesting. The ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The council has pledged a full investigation. I'm guessing that would not be a news thing if we had not freed the Rachni Queen. Hopefully, she'll stick to her word. We shall see, I guess. The Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, has declined to name the next race likely to gain council membership. However, she suggested an announcement could come soon. Oh, yeah? Volus? Are we finally getting the Volus council member? Commander Shepard. He uncovered Saren's plan, defeated the Geth army, and died in the final days of the fight. Or did he? Witnesses report seeing him alive on Omega. Wait, what? I haven't been to Omega. Is that a bug? Is, uh, should it only play that if I've already been to Omega and then come here? That's on Ferros, right? 
Man, there's a fucking lot of these. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, Ash. That's nice. <laughs> Did she say that? I feel like that's a, a reference to the animals line that there was lots of friendly debate about, shall we say, <laughs> in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that wasn't exactly what she said. I can't remember. Hey, there we go. That's a loop. That is a loop. Right. Wow. That was a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. Okay. This is a very different detailed kind of map. So we are at rapid transit. Fuck me. There's a lot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So. Oh, I can't actually move around the map. It's just static. Okay. Uh, so. Where is... Doesn't actually. Maybe uh, you probably have to use rapid transit to get out of here. Well, let's just explore. Let's just explore. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. I will be sure to do that at some point, Kasumi. <laughs> Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. Uh, well... I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Captain Bailey. Okie doke. Oh, cool. That's nice that you don't have to go into the menu for it. You'll Suck. have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you asked. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yeesh. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Cool. Uh, can you reinstate me then? Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. <laughs> But I can see you're a busy man. Oh, well, that's so kind so of you. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Uh, I feel like... Is this some kind of fucking ploy? This seems weird. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Uh, I don't know, man. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. I feel like this is something that's going to cause more problems. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. How do I get there from here? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Right, okay. Screw the council. Nah, I mean, kind of screw the council, but I am going to go see him. That is my plan, so... I will. Having access to the council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The council can get anything best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? 
Oh, uh, fuck. There's a lot, apparently, that I need. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up. Of course, they fixed that first. All the wards got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Interesting. Uh, that's just going to say what we already asked, right? Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Salarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shin Akiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in Seasick. Oh, right. It was the all like Tyrians, right? Of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Cool, cool. And uh, what was I just hearing you talk about when I walked up there? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little. This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rulebook. No option to push back on that, huh? Okay. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. All righty. Uh, can I talk to you at all? Nope. Interrogation room access denied. Hmm. Wonder if I'll be able to go in there at some point. Hello, Avina. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. Uh, I'm carrying a few. <laughs> so has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. We love to see it. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. We do indeed love to see it. I need to talk to the council. Oh, How wait, that's just going to... Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. Oh boy. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth, a known enemy. Oh boy. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Cheers. Right. Uh... Oh, I was holding it down. Um, so, which way should we go first? Left or right? Uh, doesn't really matter. We'll be going both eventually. Let's go right first. Oh, it's her. We Officials did some quests for her, right? Explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago 
on Eden Prime. F. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily. Anything Long. different or CSEC has reported the disappearance oh, yeah. of a sanitation worker on Kithoy Ward. Denaria Claris failed to return from her shift during the third watch. Her assignment took her near the keeper's area of the ward, and it is feared her corpse might have been taken to the protein vats for recycling. Yikes. Wonder if that will play into anything we're doing. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. The Systems Alliance Fifth Fleet has begun its planned tour of the Attican Traverse region. The fleet, centered around the Dreadnought Orizaba, Mom again. Woo. Anna Shepherd, will stop in various systems over the next three months. A Turian spokesman for the Council noted that since the Battle of the Citadel, the Alliance has played an increasing role in securing our frontiers. He added that the Fifth Fleet's goodwill tour is a first step to becoming a partner in Turian peacekeeping patrols. Damn, the Turians are suddenly real big fans of us, huh? Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight. Is this about this is the first one, right? On the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost or is it? to have been destroyed with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. I think that's yeah, 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 it is, it is, okay. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. Huh? No, they're not. You ever been up there? Wait, what? No. CSEC won't let That gave me a fucking journal quest? Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. You should kill them all. Ah, no, maybe you shouldn't. Rex was going on in Mass Effect 1. He was going on about catching fish. Anyone else got anything to say? Shepard, are you looking to continue your education? It's one thing to know how to shoot a gun. But do you have the career skills to deploy and manage today's... Wait, are uh, advertisements all somehow personalised? Does that specifically address me as Shepard? That's interesting. Zakira Cafe? I hear this is the best place for food on Zakira Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Oh, got him. High grade provisions. Oh, is this. Is this what my dude wants? Probably? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Ascension novel, written by human author Drew Carpishan. The popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human sur survivalist cult Cerberus. Is, this is a real world, like, this is an actual novel, right? In the real world, I think. And so is Revelations. Uh, following the 2148 discovery of the Prothean Mass Relay on Pluto and the beginning of human galactic exploration. People have said there are a few uh, a few actual Mass Effect books, and I'm guessing that these are two of them. Sure, we'll get them. Codex entries, nice, nice. Hey, that was the ingredients. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I said I was going to explore the right-hand side first tonight, I think. So let's do that. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Hello. Accuse her of classism. Since these stores are owned by the council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a former specter. 
My goodness. I didn't know Spectre. I thought I was still a Spectre. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Uh, what? He's, he's referred to himself as currently a Spectre a few times. That's the first time he's referred to himself as a former Spectre. So that's interesting. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. I, I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. Okay. These stores are owned by the city. Oh, wait, that's just what that's I did. Correct. We offer an assortment of decorations. Thanks for your time. Citizen. Space hamster. This small furry rodent looks up at you with what seems like a knowing smile. <laughs> 7,000? Sure. Give me a space hamster. Ilium scald fish. Ilium. Ilium, Ilium, Ilium. Was there. Was one of the missions about Ilium? I feel like we've heard Ilium before. Hmm. What was Ilium? Oh, was Ilium where someone said... I think Liara was on Ilium or something? I think that's it. Sure. Uh, a model of the Normandy SR1. Sure. A model of the Destiny Ascension. Sure. Spend all this cash. So do you want to get one of the fish or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. Right, okay. Hello. Man, these massive orange boxes. <laughs> Could do without them. Gonna be honest. Not a, not a massive fan. Of the uh, the massive boxes, <laughs> is this the same stuff? The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has yeah. generated a swift but confused response. Eight vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Uh, that's Galactic News. Hello. What can I do for you? Oh no. <laughs> Can we do this everywhere? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a pharaoh Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. <laughs> Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. I can't believe <laughs> he's just doing the same thing everywhere. What can I do for you? That's hilarious. I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. Nice. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship. The personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. A small, tight-knit community. Wait, did we just do that? If everything's done by yeah, catalog, believes in sale Some say we're I just had a brain fart. I'd like to buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shatha for five days. 
In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. I feel like I've had enough experiences to last a lifetime. <laughs> I'll be going. Good hunting, Shepard. Okay, what have we got? Oh, fuck. Okay. This is stuff that I can't just buy willy-nilly. 50,000? Okay. Okay. Man. Squad bonus plus 10% heavy pistol damage. Wait, so the pistol damage is squad, but the sniper rifle one is just for you. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. That's weird. They're worded differently, but they are for the sake. This one says increases damage by 10%, but then the next line is improves sniper rifles for your entire squad. Whereas this one says squad bonus 10% damage up. So, <laughs> is, I don't know why it's worded differently, but whatever. Uh, ooh. Hello. Offhand ammo pack. A simple but popular modification developed by the Elcos Combine and favoured among mercenary groups and military personnel on active assignment. Increases spare ammo capacity by 10%. Yes, that's pretty cheap. That sounds useful. We'll definitely buy that. Aegis Vest. Casa Fabrications line of elite personal protection equipment includes a series of interlocking, interlocking ceramic plates covered in a proprietary tungsten alloy weave for maximum stopping power. Increases health by 5%? Why not, eh? Why not? Why not? Uh, a sniper rifle, 6 grand. The incisor is one of a new wave of military and police sniper rifles designed to overload active defenses such as shields. Firing three shots with each pull of the trigger. Interesting. A burst fire sniper rifle? The incisor's burst is so fast that all three rounds will be in the target by the time the barrel has moved a millimeter, increasing its stopping power without sacrificing accuracy. As an added benefit, the noise of the burst is comparable to a single rifle shot in duration, making it no easier to locate the sniper by sound. What? What is, uh... Go to the Captain Cabin to view personalization. Right. There's no, uh... Equip thing here anymore. Are, are, are we saved? Have they completely removed that massive inventory manage aspect of it? I, I've, I've tried to quit the game twice now. Once after the first part, once after the third. And both times I've gone to the options menu expecting the quit button to be there. And they've just replaced the equipment with the main menu one. So I'm curious, like... Is it worth buying this, do we think? I don't know. Sentry interface. The visor works with the Sentry system, a software application that optimizes an armor's suit microframe, microframe computer. When the Sentry system is running, more power can be devoted to shield management, increases shield strength by 5%. Sure. And Umbra visor. Oh, this is going to be an either or thing. I can't have the shield strength and the power damage. But I wonder if that's just for me or whether I can equip that on other people as well. Hmm. Well, it's only 3k. Whatever, let's get it. Should we get the sniper as well? I'm not going to get any of these right now because those are very expensive. But, I mean, this is fairly expensive. But, sure. Why not? We'll come back for damage upgrades another time. So what do you think? Maybe a shotgun? I like the assault rifle. It's like a non-stop barrage of death. If you can hit anything. Oh, I, I thought that was an exit. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. That's a lot of players. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. I do not. I'm sorry. What was that? They gave me a talk to Jacob thing somewhere. Oh, wait, right. Ah, right here. Been years since I've been to the Citadel. Never changes, does it? No matter how long you're gone. Comforting to some people, I guess. Living in denial that all this could end. Alright, that's depressing. Can't 
I'll go over there. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Oh, it's this other reporter. Hang on, let me. Where are these gonna go? Okay, there's like separate things. Let's talk to Avina. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. Oh, exotic dancing! What stores are in this area? Rodham Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Uh, okay, let's talk to the journalist before we go down there. Got time for the press, Shepard? Sure. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Western the News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. I remember. You presented your case very well on camera. Thank you. Do you have a minute? Uh. Did she make me look bad? I feel like she just represented what I said and then. Hackett was mad at me for mentioning Saren. But I don't think she twisted my words, did she? But I mean, if that's the option, then I'm guessing she did, and I'm just misremembering. What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. You're bad, you're news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. We stood as one to save many. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shenyang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Damn, that's a flex. Everyone in the fifth fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Damn, did we just walk away? <laughs> you get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Banter? That went well. Uh, anything we can do with you guys? No. Okay. Uh, we can't go down there. So now let's try Dark Star. 